liberty and justice, that it would be proper to allow our brothers and sisters from the south, you know, senatorial district, to have a shot at the governorship uh, of uh, the state on our platform, on the platform of uh, PDP. Of course, you know it's all about uh, jostling for power. You do not expect it to go down with every person. Some people from Central and some people from the North are also agitating to be allowed to run. But the truth of the matter is that uh, we have not excluded any person, strictly speaking. Uh, but um, as it goes, when a party takes a decision, you expect every good party man to go along with the decision of the party. Because one thing you will notice about uh, Abia politics right now is that the uh, PDP is the dominant party. In fact, you even have a situation where people who founded are uh, financing uh, their own political parties are prepared to ditch their political party to come on board the PDP. That is how strong we are. If you want to join our party, the baseline is the word. You go and register at the word and have your name in the register. If your name is not in the register of the party, no matter how many cards you carry about, we cannot regard you as a member of our party. Interesting. The chairman of Abia PDP, Senator Ima Nwaka. Now, to, to what he, he, he just said, he, you are back in the PDP now, yeah. uh, and he just said that uh, uh, they will recognize those who were duly uh, registered in their ward. But, but tell me, uh, one will imagine that you had two governors at some point at the PBA. Mm -hmm. uh, is it that you just wanted to belong to a party that is in power. That's why you are back in the PDP. No, no, no. Because Am I if you're a force, are if you're a no, force, no. let me ask you a question. A, just a moment. Mm -hmm. If you're a force, mm -hmm. one would think that you should be able to stand and build the PPA. No, no, no. It's not being a force. It's following the trend. The APC, the, a, the CPC, the APC major changed the scenario of politics. And uh, before the major, I was back in PDP on 16th of January 2012, when, when first Alaji Bamanga spoke to me, and I went back to the PDP. And with all matter of sincerity, what uh, Senator Wanka is saying is uh, uh, not real. Uh, he came from AMPP, and I still brought him into PDP. I made him a commissioner. So these people should... PDP is not as strong as that. If there is an election today, because of performance of the governor, PDP might be in trouble. You can't enter into Abba. Take your camera to Abba. Take your camera to Mwaya. There is nowhere to pass there. Let Oji you, stop ruling the state with propaganda. Let him, I, I, don't want to, I don't like to talk about him. Sincerely from my heart. I, let him stop ruling the state with propaganda. But, but, I am ready to pay jointly with him, with the state. I'm ready to pay K KPMG, P PWC, Esther Young, Akintola Willard Deloitte, and McKinsey to go and do a thorough audit of Abia State from 1999 to 2007, and they will do from 2017 to date. Every infrastructure has gone down. Let us tell ourselves the truth. But this is an administration that builds on some of the of uh, the loopholes that your administration left behind let me tell you I, I don't want to do politics with you i don't like to talk about Oj. that is i am telling you was my chief of staff i don't want to talk about him there is nothing built in abia state nothing i want the auj i want the newspaper proprietors association the uh, the guild of editors to set up a committee and go to abia or the mba if nobody can do it, let the natural bar association do it as soon as tomorrow. There are publications in the newspaper, pictures of yeah. some of the infrastructure in Abia at the moment that mm -hmm. were done in the last few years of yeah. uh, Governor Theodore Oji's administration. No, 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 no. Those pictures, some Did of you them, see those pictures? Those pictures were, like on Hanko Road, they say, built. No Caterpillar, the 2007, I got to Hanko Road. But those, I built, are, listen, those, listen, are those pictures telling listen, lies, sir? They are telling lies. Some of those things are schools, 
uh, secondary school and primary school built by ADDC. I'm, no, I'm not here to discuss Governor Oji. I have respect for his office. I have respect for his person. But let him stop using these boys is using for propaganda. It's not good for the party. All right, it's not me, good for anybody. Let me, no right-thinking Nigeria will tell you what he's doing is right. No, what, go to our state. People cannot come out. People can He used security agents. He used talks to harass mm. everybody. Uh, but, you heard of a senator mm. last week. Was but, nearly killed. Dr. Uh, this was a man, the current governor, was a man who worked closely with you. You were much in the know of how he became governor. Do you mean that uh, you're saying that this is a man that you are not now no more uh, 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 sure, uh, sure about his competence? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what went wrong. It, it was at most, the time? Listen, it most, at the time I made that decision, it was the right decision. It in most he was governor. I called him to tell him privately, this is our major problem. If the governor is an honest man, he will tell people, say yes. Because I have him, and any day he denies it, I will show the nation that this is it. Let me tell you, I called him privately. I said, you can no longer do this job. Because 18 months into, I started calling people. I said, I don't know what this guy is doing. It started when he was, uh, when they were quarreling with Oye Muguchuko and Co. They brought a paper to me that he borrowed 11 point something billion. I called his commissioner for finance. I said, what are you people doing with money? They told me you people borrow money from banks. The commissioner said, yes, we borrow money, but don't tell the governor. He didn't even, he didn't even inform the ESCO. He borrowed from multiple banks. I converted the governor. I said, what are you doing with this money? He didn't give me any explanation. First, he denied that he didn't borrow money. I said, but your commissioner told me that you borrow money. I said, you, you worked with me for eight years. The only money I borrowed was two billion I paid back before I left. I never borrowed money to run Abia. The money, $680 million that our state was owing during the old regime, both joint regime of Igbo and Abia, mm -hmm. were, were deducted by President Obata. Uh, Dr. Oji, one would think that you perhaps are not happy because no. you, you, uh, the, uh, the governor did not allow you to play godfather on him. No, there's nothing like godfather. I run a big conglomerate. I run a company of over three and a half billion dollars in balance sheets. So nothing. There's nothing. So your grass is basically for the people. The people I support. I, I mean, the people are very. If any day I leave anything between me and God about the people, it is not going to be fair for me. All right. Let's go to some national politics uh, now. What's your mission back in the PDP now? You ran in 2007 for the presidency. Are you back in the PDP for what? I'm back in my party. Must I run for a political... I'm asking, what's, what's your no, plan? my your mission is to be in the party. I'm in the party. I mean, you talked about Igbo presidency. Yes. Do you believe in rotational presidency? I believe in rotational presidency. And you think that uh, the Igbo nation should have the The Igbo cannot be doing short now when Jonathan is seeking for a second term. So you think that the, the, the uh, President Jonathan can take the Igbo's turn? If we want to run, he can. No, it's not our turn. He's the president now. Every president has gone for eight years. He could have been our turn if he didn't run. So presently now, uh, uh, let me, one of your uh, kinsmen from your area uh, is actually thinking in, in that line. Let me allow you to listen to uh, Governor of Imo State, uh, uh, Rochas Okorocha, on the Igbo uh, the mission for the Igbo people. Let's take a listen to him. About running for an office, I, I get taken aback sometimes because some of the uh, uh, running for office is based on ambition, what you call ambition. But any time you see me talk about any position, it's based on vision. Okay. And, and often than not, people, aspiration, uh, which is on what they can see, probably the benefit of the office and the flat, the, 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 the decorations of the office that goes with it. But it's far more than that. For me, every political office is for purpose of service. That's right. Deeply rooted in the spirit of sacrifice. My aspiration is based on the, my vision, conviction, that I have something to offer to my nation. Just like I said, I have something to offer to my state. I, I can bring about necessary change and, and fix things right. It's a burning desire, put it that way. So. Um, for me, um, I'm, I'm willing. 
and ready to offer myself, try to kill, I would try to destroy, really, that spirit of imposition of candidates um, when it comes to the issue of election. The only reason I will ever leave APC, if I will ever leave APC, is any time there's imposition of candidate or injustice based on lack of adherence to, 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 to internal democracy. I'm not a firm believer of rotation of power. Rotation of presidents. And I think our constitution was wise enough not to even accommodate that. Because rotated to who? And where does the rotation stop? When he goes to the north, what part of the north should get it? And when he gets to that part of north, whose family? You see, these are, are just uh, manip manipulative political tendencies. Governor Richard Okrocha talking about uh, his uh, interest politically as we enter into another political uh, a game of 2015. And I've been speaking with Dr. Oji uh, uh, Uzokalu about rotation our president. He said he doesn't believe in it. That's, uh, that's someone you run almost at the same time. In 2007, I think he ran, he ran also uh, for president. Okay, he went into the primaries then. Uh, rotation our presidency, he says it's not democratic. Whether it's democratic or not, the country, our party PDP have used it to stabilize the country. And it cannot be when it's the turn of the Igbos. And you will say, we don't believe in rotational president. When do you think it's the turn of the Igbos? Well, after, after uh, Jonathan, we'll go back to discuss with people of up north. we we'll sit down with north and south in, in the same political party to discuss the way forward. So what uh, Governor Okorocha was trying to say, I don't want to disagree with him. And um, everybody has his own part of the card. I think I have more Igbo desire than most of our leaders. And uh, my own desire is genuine. I'm an interpreter. I sit on the both sides of the Atlantic. I'm a good interpreter. I'm also a good uh, uh, politician. The mixing both of them together is difficult. But what I, I see him saying is that uh, he, because he wants to run. It's no longer because we want to run. Jonathan became president by uh, totally will of God. Mm. And when he became president, if people are doing uh, two terms, we can, you cannot stop him from doing two terms. All right, interesting. And most Igbo leaders are supporting him to do the second term. All right, just on the final note, because our time is out now, let me ask you, 2015 is less than six months mm -hmm. from now. Yes. The elections are less than, uh, less than 20, uh, six months. Tell me. What's your view about the 2015 elections? The presidential race, how, does he, how do you think it's going to look out? Well, without mixing words, you know, PDP is a very dominant party, and PDP will win the election again. And they are strong on the ground. The brand is very strong. They might have disagreement. They might have uh, uh, people quarreling with one another. But to be honest with you, the mechanism of settlement in PDP is great. And I, I, we founded the party strong, although most of the founders are not there today, like Malama Damuchuroma, Atikwa Bubaka. But the franchise is still very strong because it's a very strong franchise. And any nomination PDP is going to make will, will be president of Nigeria. Thank you so very much. Former governor of uh, Abia State. Are you not afraid of Ebola? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so very much. Former Governor of Abia State, uh, Dr. Oji Uzokal, who's been talking to us on politics today. Well, that's it on the program today. I want to thank you for joining us and also you on the other side of the screen for joining us today. On behalf of the team, I'm Shio Wakimbalue. Bye for now.